Hey everyone, Thorin Smash here, and today we are finally getting the new trailer for the brand new collection event, or at least we are supposed to, and with that we're going to go over the skins you can be expecting, the limited time mode, the free stuff coming, the Apex Cups, and so much more, because it does seem like it will actually be a pretty good event. Along with that, we're going to go ahead and give away one of the Octane Prestige skins. All you guys got to do is like, comment, subscribe, you guys know the drill, but without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about what to expect in today's event. So this morning we should be getting the arrival of the brand new Urban Assault collection event, at least the trailer of it. Now, they did actually delay the release of the Inner Beast collection event trailer, so it is always possible that the trailer doesn't arrive exactly as we normally anticipate it, but even if it doesn't, we pretty much know everything about it, so we're going to go over everything that's going to be coming next Tuesday. That is right, it is on Tuesday for this event. Let's go ahead and start out with some of the skins, and these all come courtesy of Kral Rindo. Now, there are going to be a ton of banner frames that you guys can see here. A lot of them are epic. And then we also have a couple of epic skins such as Revenant, which is Painted Death, which a lot of people seem really excited for. There's also gonna be Modern Flare for Seer, and you can also be expecting Sunset Racer for Horizon, which is going to be a pretty key character in this event. There's also gonna be epics for the Spitfire, the Havoc, the Wingman, and then we're going into Legendaries, which will feature a RE45 called On Edge. There will also be the Mayday Maker Legendary for the Alternator, the Carbon Viper for the Hemlock, which is also one of my personal favorites. It kind of looks like the Vault here mixed with the R99 in Season 7 Battle Pass skin. I don't know, maybe I'm just tripping. There's also the Turbulent Tech Legendary for the L-Star, and the Suburban Sights Legendary for the Nemesis. Of course, the Legend skins are also going to be Legendary as well. There's going to be a Lobo one called Rooftop Runaway. A lot of people are actually very upset with the hair on this one. I don't think it's that bad. But what do I know? I'm not very good at fashion. There's also the Legendary Downdraft Demon for Valkyrie. The Legendary Acid Hype for Rampart. Newcastle finally gets a somewhat decent skin again called Techwear Tough for Newcastle, even though he has an incredibly low pick rate. Wraith gets one of her top skins of all time, which fans are really, really excited about, called the Street Smart. And Vantage gets a new Legendary as well called Suburban Ranger. And I don't know why they continue to put these weird masks on her face. Maybe they're trying to hide. I don't really get it. Of course, the big thing that everyone is the most excited about is the brand new Prestige skin for Octane, which comes in three tiers. called Riptide, as you can see here. This will cost the entire collection event to unlock, so you'll have to spend around $160. And it does come with this unique finisher right here, but you'll have to do all 100,000 damage before you unlock that. Along with that, you'll have to do the 100,000 to get the Skydive Trail, which you can see right here. It has little sharks flying with him. It's pretty cool. I still think a Cheetah would have been better or a Mako Shark. It looks kind of like a Great White now, but regardless, those are going to be the event skins. But don't worry, there's going to be plenty of free stuff as well. There is a free prize tracker that we already know about, thanks to Hypermist. A lot of it is Battle Pass Stars, Hollow Sprays, so on and so forth. There is a G7 Scout at 4,000 points unlocked and an Epic Catalyst skin at 5,000 points unlocked. Along with that, there are four different badges you can unlock. And the best part about it is this is going to feature the three strikes mode as it is coming back. There are even trackers with it for kills, damage, and assists. It does not look like if you've done this game mode in the past, those will count. This is going to be a brand new tracker, and that's because we are getting the brand new Apex Cups, which will be launching alongside this event. You might have already have seen this little thing. Choose your side right here with Horizon and Octane. We know there is going to be Horizon lore, and Octane's got a prestige skin. So that's probably why they included him as well. Now this is going to be called Apex Rumble, and you're going to go ahead and dive into Apex Rumble to face off against comparable rival competitors. It's basically like its own ranked mode, but with the three strikes LTM. However, in the overview it says without a pre-made squad, so you will have to do this solos. You're going to score points by focusing on damage, kills, and assists, and placement. Like I said, very much like ranked, but in a different style. Points earned in the Rumble will place you among your rivals on the leaderboard. Limited games make every attempt count, so you will only have a certain amount of tries on this, it looks like. Along with that, there are rewards as you move up the tiers. We know that there's going to be a free Massive skin, which you can see here. There's also a free Volt skin as well. Prowrindo actually showed us what the tiers are. And there's the top 100%. You just get a badge just for even competing. Top 75% get Battle Pass stars. Top half actually get stat trackers. Top 20% get a Massive skin. And the top 100 get a badge. Not really sure where the Volt skin falls in, but I imagine it'll be somewhere in there as well. Overall, this event is probably going to be a win just because Three Strikes is coming back no matter what, and I am incredibly excited for that because it's super, super fun. This will also be the last week of the Breakout Challenge rewards that you guys are going to be able to unlock. Valkyrie will be this week's competitor. Hopefully, they don't give us a hundred rings to actually complete with her. Knowing Apex Legends, they probably will. But once you complete that, if you've done all the other Legends and done all the gifts, you will have the brand new Wraith skin shown here along with her stat trackers 
and the flatline reactive breakout free skin unfortunately apex legends is breaking slash not breaking all the time so we'll actually see if that is ready to go and fix along with that after the video today there will be a new teaser for season 21 tomorrow we're getting ready for alter to come into the apex legends games and overall it's getting really really exciting as we see more and more teasers going into what she's going to be like in the lore especially as it ties into the apex cups with horizon remember guys if you have heirloom shards hold on to them in the very near future there are also going to be something called exotic shards coming into the game that's going to be a new artifact currency i don't know how it's going to work i'm not exactly too thrilled that they're adding in another currency when their red legend tokens are pretty much worthless right now we'll see how that exactly works and how the customization works with the cobalt heirloom as that should be coming up very soon in early season 21. let me know down below are you guys excited for this event do you think apex cups will be the next big thing for apex legends it will actually help the game in a long time and how do you feel about some of the skins and the prestige skin for octane also don't forget to check out this channel right here by my editor novel who does amazing apex legends content until next time legends keep slaying in the outlands and i'll see you out there